The Romberg test is a test that we use every day in clinic. It's a simple way to look at how well somebody balances. They have them stand, put their feet together, close their eyes. If they're a little more capable, we'll put them on a foam pad. We call it a perturbed surface because we're fancy. That allows us to be able to look at dynamically the integration between your vestibular system, your inner ear, your visual system, and then your proprioceptive system throughout your body. So like where are your joints and muscles and how reactive are they? And someone that has all of those things integrating really well and firing well, People can typically stand, their eyes closed, move their heads in different positions, and they'll still be able to maintain their balance. What we'll notice is if there are errors with different systems, people will sway and move or fall in different ways. So like one example would be, we may notice that someone that has peripheral neuropathy, they don't feel their feet very well. When they close their eyes and we take away their vision, they're purely just relying on their inner ear. So they will tend to have bigger amplitudes of sway and they're more likely to fall and actually have a harder time catching themselves when they fall. If someone's got an inner ear problem, we may notice that different head positions or the act of turning their head in one direction may cause a fall that's in a certain plane, right? So if I'm turning my head to the right, but I have a problem in my left anterior canal, I may not feel that very well, and I can start to fall forward and I don't notice it fast enough and I'll actually tip really big in that plane. I may tip big, I may fall big, and I may correct weird coming out of that. So there's lots of little examples of things that we're looking at with the way that people stand or the way they move, particularly in a Rombergs, that are very helpful in identifying how these things all work together and where the errors are. And bonus, when we do treatment and we see people improve, we can measure the improvements in those functions. They allow us to see how people are doing.